All right, so in this problem, I have x is equal to x over 2. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by subtracting x over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So now I have 2 times x minus x over 2 is equal to 2 times 0. Now, 2 times x minus x over 2, to solve that, all I have to do is simply distribute the 2. So 2 times x, that's 2x. And 2 times negative x over 2, the 2 simply cancel out. So I'll simply just be left with negative x. So I have 2x minus x is equal to 2 times 0 is 0. Now 2x minus x is x, so I have x is equal to, that's left is 0. So this is my solution. Now another way of actually solving this problem is, let me actually erase all of this. So instead of actually subtracting x over 2 on both sides, I can simply just multiply 2 straight away. So now I have 2 times x is equal to 2 times x over 2. Now 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times x over 2, the 2 simply cancel out, so I'll simply just be left with x. Now if I subtract x on both sides, x minus x, these two cancel out, and 2x minus x is x, so I'm left with x is equal to x minus x, is zero. So that's another way of solving this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 11 minus four to the power of x is equal to three. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start by, I'm gonna first start with 11 minus 4 to the power of x is equal to 3. And now I'm going to subtract 11 on both sides. So then these two, 11 and negative 11, are going to cancel out. And I'm going to be left with negative 4 to the power of x is equal to 3 minus 11, which is negative 8. Now, if I divide both sides by negative 1, negative 4 to the power of x divided by negative 1, that's simply 4 to the power of x. So I have 4 to the power of x is equal to negative 8 divided by negative 1, simply 8. So now I have the problem 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. All right. So now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by reading my, rewriting my 4 here as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 2x. So now I have 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 8. Now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if you guys already didn't know, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x, this is equal to 3. Now to solve this, all I have to do is simply divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. 
So this is one method of solving this problem. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I have 4 to the power of x equals 8. And now I'm actually going to take Now, sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of x is equal to b, then x here is actually equal to log base a of b. And I can actually go ahead and prove this as well. So if I start with 4 to the power of x is equal to 8, can go ahead and take the log on both sides. So I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 8. And now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent of b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. So I can move x to the front, so this would equal x times log 4 is equal to log 8. Now if I divide both sides by log 4, I'll have x is equal to log 8 over log 4, which can be written as log base 4 of 8. So now that I have log base 4 of 8, I'm going to actually instead use this, this form, so log 8 over log 4. And log 8, that's simply equal to 2 to the power of 3, log 4, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So, now, if I move 3 to the front, and if I move 2 to the front, I get 3 log 2 over 2 log 2. The log 2's cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So that's the second method. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36. So to solve this problem, I'm going to start by taking the power of 3 on both sides. So now I'm going to have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 36 to the power of 3. Now. If I have something in the form a to the power of n to the power of n, this is equal to a, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of n. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And we can think of x to the power of 3 here as n and 3 as n. So this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of n. So I can change the place of these two. So now this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. This is equal to still 36 to the power of 3. Now, 36 I can write as 6 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is also equal to a to the power of m times n. So 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3, that's going to equal 6 to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6 to the power of 6. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 6 to the power of 6. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 6. So now I'm going to go ahead and clear up some space. So now I have y equals 6. However, remember that y is also equal to x to the power of 3. So now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 6. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the power, or sorry, I'm going to take 
the cube root on both sides. So now I have the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of 6. Now the cube root of x to the power of 3 is simply x, so I am left with x is equal to cube root of 6. So this is my answer.